Cavrock is committed to paving the way for full integration of mining and rock mechanics to unlock the full potential for mining projects. Cavrock's apps and software plugins enable every mining practitioner to apply the world-based practice geotechnical analysis for routine design purposes. The state-of-art advanced numerical modeling is now the state of practice. Selexa offers distributed fiber optic sensing based solutions to the mining industry. We have developed integrated platforms for geotechnical monitoring of tailings dams, rock mass response monitoring, as well as flow metering to support the mining industry's ESG initiatives and create safer, more productive mines. Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Sebastian and it's a pleasure to be on the latest edition of TV seminars. Uh, I work for a company that is called American Geotechnical and Environmental Services. We have offices in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and also in Virginia. Uh, we specialize mostly on transportation geotechnics. Uh, we do foundations, land plate stability, air retaining structures. But I also I'm here a little bit into another role, which is also with the Deep Foundation Institute. And my idea is to kind of share some experiences that that I have found on projects, but also as part of, of the Institute. So the topic for today is predicting geotechnical capacity of drill shafts in bedrock. Are we close? Uh, and really the only thing that I want to do today is just to answer this, this question. Are we close? Do we know what we're doing? Um, and if we are or we are not, what needs to change? So again, my name is Sebastian Lobo Guerrero. Um, it's an honor to be here, I'm very excited about it. I work for a company that is called American Geotechnical and Environmental Services. We have offices in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, and also in Virginia. Uh, we specialize mostly on transportation geotechnics. Uh, we do foundations, land plate stability, air retaining structures. But I also, I'm here a little bit into another role, which is also with the Deep Foundation Institute. And my idea is to kind of share some experiences that that I have found on projects, but also as part of, of the Institute. So the topic for today is predicting geotechnical capacity of drill shafts in bedrock. Are we close? Uh, and really, the only thing that I want to do today is just to answer this, this question. Are we close? Do we know what we're doing? Um, and if we are or we are not, what needs to change? The recent Ashton Federal Highway changes in design equations um, and the impact that quality control and quality assurance could have. Uh, basically, this is going to be the, I guess, the motivation for all this because we recently went through these equations that reduce significantly the length of drill shafts in bedrock. Um, so I want to start with that part, and I know it's going to be a little bit of the dense part of the presentation with some equations, but hopefully we can move out from that and go into construction, instrumentation for drilling, uh, testing of the shafts um, and applications an example and, and as I say my whole goal is to just show the state of the art of drill shafts in bedrock and you know see if we know what we're doing or not so let's start with the design equations the old versus 